In 1 Corinthians 13, we read that love keeps no record of wrongs. This means that love doesn't keep a scorecard of the times someone has hurt us or wronged us. It means that we let go of the past and we forgive others as we want them to forgive us. It reminds us that love and forgiveness go hand in hand. This is hard work. This is when love gets difficult. This is why Paul reminds us in Philippians 1 that our love cannot merely be sentimental gush, but instead we must use our head and test our feelings so that our love is sincere and intelligent. Forgiveness is a central theme in Christian theology, but its true meaning and significance can often be clouded by harmful and oppressive teachings that prioritize reconciliation and harmony over justice and accountability. Now, as a theologian, I believe that true forgiveness is not about glossing over or minimizing harm. It's not about letting perpetrators off the hook or pressuring survivors to forgive prematurely. True forgiveness is a process that honors the complexity of our experience and our emotions, and it requires us to acknowledge the harm that's been done, to hold perpetrators accountable for their actions, and to take steps towards healing and repair and complete restoration. To learn more about this process, do a dive in Google and search the Reconciliation Commission in Rwanda. True forgiveness is a radical act of love and liberation. It's a refusal to be defined or held back by our pain and trauma. It's a choice to let go of bitterness and resentment and to embrace a vision of a better future. It's a commitment to creating a world where harm and violence no longer have power over us. As we think about forgiveness, we must also remember that it's not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. It requires patience and grace and support from ourselves and our communities. In fact, it may involve difficult conversations, therapy, or restorative justice practices. But it's a journey that's worth taking for the sake of our own well-being and the well-being of the world. So let us hold space for the pain and complexity of our experiences while also embracing a vision of healing, repair, and liberation. And may we find the courage and strength to forgive and be forgiven. And may our world be transformed by the power of love and grace and forgiveness.